Hello and welcome to the video for how do I use the UMG checkbox. I've gone ahead and created a quick example here. I'll go ahead and run it. Basically if we check our sound checkbox it toggles it a boolean true and if we turn on our heart it turns easy mode on or off. We're going to quickly go over the parameters of our checkboxes. By default the checkbox comes with the appearance section, the style section, and that is all that is unique along with the custom events that are available to the checkbox. For the appearance we have the default state which is either unchecked, checked, or undetermined. Undetermined is useful for example if you may have more than one checkbox selected, some of them are checked and some of them are unchecked. But de by default for the most part you'll use either checked or unchecked. Horizontal alignment simply adjusts the alignment of the appearance. For your style section, you have your checkbox type. This is either checkbox or toggle button. The checkbox is the standard checkbox along with a, another single child, perhaps text or an image. When you have toggle button turned on, it removes the child option and it simply gives you the ability to toggle on or off. For our style options, we have the unchecked image, unchecked hovered image, unchecked pressed image. We then have our checked states of checked image, checked hover image, and checked pressed image. We then have the three undetermined images for image, hovered, and pressed image. Underneath that we have the padding for our style, the foreground color of any objects inside of that, as well as the border background color. You can then associate three sounds directly for checked, unchecked, and hovered. Our one event that is unique to this item is our on check state changed, and that is what we'll be using for our example. What I've done is I have bound the checked state to a boolean, each one of these having a unique boolean. This one is easy mode and this one is sound. I have then created an event for each one going off of the on check state changed. Every time you check the box or for example toggle the toggle, the on check state changed. So what we do is we simply set our boolean to whether we have toggled on or off. When I do that, what that does is update the boolean and then the boolean itself updates the check state and that is where our text blocks come in. Our text block are simply checking the state and then appending sound enabled or is easy mode enabled. That's basically it. A checkbox basically only has one thing you care about, the current checked state, either checked or unchecked. When you, when you are checking a checkbox to see if it is checked or not, what you want to do is you want to check the is checked. So for example, if we were to take our heart toggle box and we look for checked, you will find is checked and get check state. If we do the get check state, it will return a enumerator on if it's checked, unchecked, or undetermined. If you do the is checked, this will return a boolean which is what you're expecting either true or false if your value is checked. So the checkbox as you can see is a really simple and easy tool. You can use it for settings, you can use it maybe as a fake button if you use it in the toggle version. It's a very simple widget to understand. 